Okay, welcome to the video. We are going to do a PC scrap out. I've got three machines. I did have four, but one was already mostly done. So, what we got here? We got uh, e-machines. Um, ah, there we go. It's got the information on the other side. Windows 7. Now this was already reloaded, uh, AMD Athlon processor, it's already been reloaded once and it's just really really horribly slow, really 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 bad. So I reloaded it from a while ago, uh, it's no good anymore, we're just going to strip it out and uh, get what we can. So. Let's have a look. So, uh, I would cut all these off, find my cutters, pliers will do for the minute. Cuts nice enough. So, gold pin should be in there. I'll keep that one. it again and I'll keep that one they're both black now this cable I wouldn't strip this cable I'm just gonna throw it in the VIR as is same with these now, are they gold pins I think they are I'll keep them temporarily anyway same with that one And then this one. Take this off though. I don't like the extra plastic being on them. They're not worried about paper. They don't care about the paper being on it. But they don't like extra layers. Right, so that's all for VIR. Now these are also a pain to strip. So I would throw these in the VIR. They do have gold pins in though. And we're touching around there somewhere, probably into the hard drive. Okay, kind of stuck. We we'll put out our RAM though. Oh, thin stick. Uh, two gigabyte stick. You never know when you're going to find something that could go in. So. Anything a gig plus, I do keep for a little while. Uh, same with laptop RAM, a gig plus. Anything under that can be strips. Anything over that, I feel like it can be sold. So, a little bit trapped here, hold on. Bit difficult there with this screwdriver. Okay. Why am I not releasing? Probably. Let's release the front clips. There we go. <laughs> Can I push through? There we go. There we go. There's always a way to do this. Is a SATA drive more up to date and it is a multi recorder so that basically means I could record this on there a little bit more worth keeping just check the case yeah that's magnetic some of these cases are ready right okay ah so our hard drive is there we we'll put up here Right, so um, let me cut this this one. This is actually a nice long cable, but I ain't got nothing to reload at the minute. So let's just chop it. Okay, your hard drive is checking out. 500 gig, I can resell that. So, 
500 gig plus is sellable to me. Yeah, so we've got this little board out here. So there's two boards in there, let's get that one out. Plenty of gold pins. And that's mostly what that's going to be, pinage. Which is fine. There's one IC there. Be a pain, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> Let's just do this here. There we go. That's all I want from that little bit there. Them gold pins. There's more gold pins in the IC on that bit, but that bit's done now. So check it with the magnet quickly. Make sure it's not. Ali, and it's not. There you go, seen it. Right, so that can go. Right, one more in there, some good gold pins there actually, look at them. Okay, so we got our pins in the USB slots, we mm, no silver on the back of them jacks, so I'm gonna say no there. The two block ICs here, our pins and nothing on the bottom. Okay, what can we get to next? Come on. Let's unscrew it back, rip off this power supply. Alright, come off, come off, come off. Alright, so. We'll open that up in a bit. Let's see what we've got here. There we go. LEDs. <clears throat> Some people do save these up. There's supposed to be like a tiny, tiny little gold wire. And the button, possible silver recovery from that bit. Okay, we cut these ones as well. And these are fine to go in your singles. Just need to get that bit off. Because if that leave that plastic bit on, it has to go to VIR. And you get more money for singles. No singles, VIR. Okay, we are getting on with this one now. So, fan. There we go. Let's uh, separate that in a second. Chip pins. Good, good, good. Well, we do already know it's an AMD. AMD Athlon. But we've got a pinage. And we also got the back there, which is a um, copper plated nickel. Nickel plated copper, sorry. <laughs> so, if you've got to take them to the scrapyard, you've got to take them in kilos. Okay. It's one bit of extruded, just make sure there's no metal pins. They don't like it if there's pins in there, it'll go as any alley. And they're not going to separate you out of the scrapyard. Don't worry about the muck on there. If you push it off, push it off. If you can't, don't worry about it. Okay, now we've got our boards. Check this with a magnet. 
No. Okay, no. Okay, so this board's got everything I want off it for the moment. It's going to go in my other boards for future processing. Alright, let's just throw all the rubbish in there that I don't want. Some more rubbish over here. It's from another video that's not finished yet. So you know when you see it because it's got the uh, clips on. So <laughs> well, all of this is fine to go in here. save everything you know okay can I shove anything else in there tune this in yeah that can go in there okay I think that's that little bit hang on we still got the power supply So, screws can go in there, don't need them. Let's do that power supply. Okay, we should be able to come apart now. All right, good, so that can go in there. It's gonna be a tight bit. Maybe that can go in there. Give me a bit of difficulty. No, no. Right. So I've got some more screws here. Let's get these off and get this out. Okay. Oh, there's my fan. Okay, all the way across to here. Just cut off the connector. That connector can go in there, there's nothing I want on that. But I don't need different cuts to do that. My board should come out now. Okay. I'm not going to bother with the rest of that. Put that in the next one. There we go. Okay, so that's full enough, isn't it? Probably put this back on the front so we're taking less plastic, you know. They account for a bit of plastic material. Right, see that's ready to go. Straight in the car, just like that. That one's done. Okay, so this is cable that I'm not gonna strip. So as you can see, I've got computer cables here. This is multiple layered plastic not a singles okay so this here has got multiple multiple in there I'm not gonna do that and I'm not going to do these either so they can just go in there and that can go in there okay the singles will go with the singles in a minute <clears throat> okay this just uh all I'm gonna do to this power board for the minute Got a bit of the cable off. That'll be singles. That's actually a spread. 
this one scrap as well. Set yourself down there. Set down there a little bit if you can. I don't know if I can do that. this. Not too much. Ah, I did it. Didn't think I was going to be able to. Alright. Singles, doesn't matter what size they are. Okay. Uh, there's no point in stripping any cables from a computer because they're always like tin coated copper so it's not actually worth stripping these ones So that can still be scrapped. Okay, let's uh, get that off. There we are. So all of this is still singles for me. Pick any up that falls on the floor in a minute. Okay. There's only two cables in there. The question is, can I rip this off? Is it worth ripping it off even? Singles now. So have a look at this. Give me a second. Okay, so I've got some pins here stopping me from uh, releasing the uh, the alley, and that is extruded aluminum. So I definitely want it. bloody spring clips on it, there's one. Right. Come on, just want to clip off, there we go. See that little gap there? I don't know if I can see it. Slip into that. Alright. Don't give me that, I should be free. Really stuck on that. Is there more screws? There's more screws. I didn't see them. Okay, so that's now clean, extruded, extruded. and we've got this piece of extruded too. There we go in my garden bin. Right, let me get my right cutters. Okay.
Now that's ready, excuse me, for my motors, my electric motors. But, for anyone interested, there was someone talking about recovering precious metals from the fans and what they meant. This is on a Facebook forum anyway. So in the back here, as you can see, there's an IC chip, which is probably worth taking. I mean, why not? Uh, and tiny IC there. I mean, it's really tiny. Big ones have a couple more ICs. Um, but everything's tiny. Plus, I mean, I wouldn't try and get the copper out of these either. That's really pain. So, I mean, maybe the IC you might want to take. Maybe a couple of MLCCs and a tantalum capacitor. Um, so that would be up to you. You rip that back bit off and there's a little bit of You know precious metals in there, so You can do that as well So Same again A lot of people are arguing why would they have them in a, in a fan, but they do in the back. Well, this one's even smaller, so I don't expect a lot. You know, we're here stripping this sort of stuff anyway, right? So, oh my god, there. So, what's in the back of this one? One IC. I'm not going for the other side, I know it's just a copper connection. So in this one there's not a lot, you know? I know some bigger ones do have more, I will show you one. Okay, so, here's my motors, fans and all that lot. I haven't actually taken any of these off yet, so as you can see on this one, we've got another IC here, 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 um, capacitor there. Tiny, tiny little ICs here, but also tiny, tiny resistors. Slightly bigger one here, as you can see. Nice little IC here. The MLCC here. So, you know, that's, that's what he was on about. And that was on the uh, one of the Gold Recovery Forums on Facebook. Uh, expand your knowledge by joining you know look so this one I can't actually get damn it I can't actually if I opened it up it's straight to the copper so don't bother trying to get that out It'll take you forever too much time for the zero returns basically so there's another avenue to get your precious metals right so that's that in there. Uh, so these are going to go with my uh, boards for the minute. I'm putting this with my boards too. Uh, I didn't cut right down here. I haven't pulled any of this off yet. I do have a video planned where I use my multi-tool to go through there. And it's not like one of these handheld multi-tools. I will show you what it is. Hold on. So this is a multi-tool that I'm on about, it's what they're called in the UK. It just does like that, like a sawing motion. So I've got this blade on here. But this, uh, actually that's to hold a um, sander on. These are sanding pads. I've got a few more, hold on. So we've got the, uh, this one with no teeth. And I was like, oh, maybe that would be good. Uh, we've got the smaller ones with some teeth, again here, nice big one with some teeth, and we've got like this big round one, goes around like that, so maybe, I'm hoping we can just rip through them, rip all the parts off, uh, so that's a video I've got planned, uh, you know, other things I'm doing at the minute. But that is a future video plan. Join me for that one. Yeah, so what I'm hoping is I can just rip through all this stuff at the bottom. Just rip through it. 
on these power boards and we'll get the copper spools, the copper donuts, we'll get the alley and we can just separate it after I'm just ripping it all off the, you know that's what I, that's what I plan I'm planning I'm hoping it works with the power boards like this one and uh, then we've also got the laptop boards and the tower boards and other boards all all to test it on so we'll find out won't we okay so this is a HP Windows 7 someone had actually um, dumped this on the estate but um, it was both passworded. Now I took the battery out of it and everything, but I ended up just pressing the enter button about five or six times, and it and it went past the bias password anyway. So I don't know what the point in what that was. Uh, so we got a two gig stick here. That's fine. Hopefully just new stuff they do. Now I've got to figure out how to get it off here. Uh, and up. You can see it coming up. Sort of. Where am I getting caught up? So, side. Oh, there's another stick in there. Hold on. Uh, that's another two gig stick, so that's four gig. Multi DVD, SATA. Okay, so. Do -do -do -do. Let's see if we can get in here. What's holding this on? There we go. Separate wire to everything we need there. How big is our hard drive? Let's just see if we can get it out. Ah, we did, right. 250, so not the best. Um, that's the thing about it, one. <laughs> I don't know who would buy it, to be honest. Not these days. Let's have a look at our chip. So I'll look at the chip, 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 chip. So it's up to you, copper rally rads, maybe. Cut, I'd cut the copper here though, and here. Let's see what kind of chip we had. I don't like these chips. I mean they're great because you can't bend the pins but um, Intel Pentium from Costa Rica 3 gigahertz okay so let's try and get our extruder out Now you absolutely must get these pins out. So, so I'll just try and bend it and then I just 
try and put it up through here. There we go, that's that side, and there's that one, see? We'll do the other side as well. Try and straighten it up, and then I'll try and uh, come up through the middle there. It's not always easy. There we go, got it. All right, that's our clean extruded now. Okay, that is a screw. Is it a screw or is it a, it's a star mount actually? Alright, let's find the star mount. Screws and clips. And same there. But hard to see. Come on. Right, that's the top one. Ah. Ah, there we go. Right. Guys, let's just cut out the bit we want. Singles that. Okay, what we it's got some sort of speaker. I do like it when they have built in speakers. Okay, right, so. More of our singles. And like I said, we will have to cut these bits off though. It's fine. Single, single, singles. And. And put that with my boards I'll open it up later and we'll see about them pins okay let's get to the other side they are nice gold pins in there I can see them That can go to VIR, VIR, I have to cut off this end because of the box, otherwise it's attachment wire, and now let's do the same with these. Like I say, you might as well cut them off otherwise it's attachment wire. So. We also had this one. Singles.
Okay. Screwdriver. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. We'll check this one as well. Because might as well. And there you go, so what can I see? I can see an IC here, and I can see a tiny MLCC here and here. And that's all I'll probably take off that, if I take it off. Uh, but I'm, for now, they're just throwing in my motors. Okay. Uh, so that's free. Let's free up this wire. And then we'll get the board out of there. Okay, right, so Get these connectors. I don't think that one's got pins, it might have. <clears throat> okay. These are weird screws in this one. There we go, our board for future processing. Let's see if we can uh, fill this up with some rubbish. Yeah. Screws on the bottom there, so um, let's take them off. Same with that one, just a alley block. Right, will it pop off or is it screwed from the other side? Don't know yet. Hmm. See if we can pop it off. Oh, we got a copper off. Oh, we'll sort it out later. That's that done. Right, again, power supply. Cut the uh, wire off this time, make it easier. So we got all our single wires from that bit. So unscrew it. Okay, should be able to pop up now. Okay. 
Vi er ja. Åh, nu kan vi spørge. Så er der helt tækken her. Så her vi er. Singles. Alright, så unscrew this. So hopefully we can just rip through that. Okay. Got a lot more scrappy bits on me at the minute, so we will wait with that. Let's move this right over here for one second. Okay, so let's get one more. Let's rip this one apart as well. Two gigabyte. Okay. So, the bigger one we got here. Let's just cut these clips off quickly. VIR. And again. Even when wires are that small, I stick them in. It doesn't bother me. And it doesn't bother them. It all goes into a granulator anyway, doesn't it? Keep. Okay. And we've got one more, got two more. One. Singles. Save yourself some hassle here. We'll just cut at the bottom. Do now take off these clips and we've got some singles. Okay, that's it, we've got a better look. Uh, there's the motor from the other one again. IC chip there. So right, let's uh pull the screws out already, not many, but uh, another re DVD rewriter. And we've got here terabyte Jesus Christ well that's a good one that took me a lot longer to see than it should have it's the heat of this sun so. 
one terabyte there. Right. Well, that's a pretty good size. I've got to get this screw off here. Right, so rip this box off, just raise the edges, then we can re raise the upper edge. There we go, right, so I'll, uh, again, small pinage gold recovery. But I'm not worried about that in a minute. Pin and scroll recovery there and there. Okay, more VIR wire. Fans here, we've got one on the back on the case and one here. So let's take the case one off first. And there we go. Another fan. I mean, you can see the, the copper popping out straight away. See it through the side there, you know. Okay, and cool. Okay, different screwdriver. One more time. Now see this one, there's not really anything there. So that'll go as it is. Okay, got a few more screws on the back of this. So I might as well get this power supply out now. There we go, right, so that's off. We'll, we'll get the board out in a minute. Singles. Okay, now we've got to free this again. This has got the split pins on the end. These ones are a lot easier to get off. Okay, that won't be on my... Yeah, I'm a good guy, let's get that. There we go, nice bit of clean alley. Screwed it again. And that all builds up. Over time. I'm not cutting through this, I'm just kind of holding it and pushing it forward. You know? Let's have a look under this one, shall we? Yep, 
yes we do have some i chip chips i c chips under this one and i can see a uh mlcc so it might be worth checking like i say i'll fill up that whole bucket before i start putting them off you know maybe we can make a video out of it again well not me right so we do have a nice chip here let's see what this is Intel Pentium 2.6 gigahertz Okay, let's get this board off. There's still a lot here we actually want, so okay. there we go. As you can see, we've got the nice pins there that hold the chip in. So plenty there. Job done. Some wire, some VIR, time to get a bit of uh, copper there. We've got some, uh, some RAM, some chips, some boards to strip later on. We also got some um, extruded aluminum. And we've got some. Uh, Still waste as well. That's not turning, right? That's um, let's try a different one. Okay, and just on that. Okay, same with this. So we can get to what we want. Is it time already? Right, five minutes on. Okay, bend that out. Let's get this great big motor out of the way. Okay, right, let's get this board off, throw that in there, fill this with scrap, and that's the video pretty much done. Now remember to check the cases, because some of them are alley cases, which means a bit of rolled alley for you. Okay. That's not coming off, is it? Yes, got it. Okay. Right, and there we go. Going down like that. So we've got a transformer there. Nice. And hopefully we can just strip that with the multi tool. So remember, check the cases, rally. And that'll be it for this one. Thank you very much.